Привіт, привіт, my dear students, my name is Ina and welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. In today's video lesson I'm going to teach you how to tell the time in Ukrainian language. But before we start I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and leave your comments about it. So guys, how to say the time in Ukrainian language? Hmm. Don't worry, it is not so confusing. I will teach you, but first of all let's check out some vocabulary. So the word time in Ukrainian language means час. Time. The word година means hour. Година. Хвилина means minute. Хвилина. Minute. Годинник. It means watch or clock doesn't matter we have one word in Ukrainian language Hodinik. how to ask what time is it now what time is it now means kotra zaraz hodina kotra zaraz hodina okay so how to answer it don't worry it's easy let me explain you just have to follow one formula uh, to tell the truth, there are different ways how to tell the time in Ukrainian language, but I will tell you about the most easiest and popular one. If you want to know more about other options, other variants, please write in the comments below. Kotra zaraz hodina. You can answer. Okay, let me write this question. Kotra, kotra zaraz Година. Котра зараз година. Котра зараз година. I wrote uh, in the italic style. Could you please tell me, is it difficult for you to write this way? This is the letter T in Ukrainian language in the italic style, not M. Котра. Котра. Okay, and then you answer. Зараз. Zaras and you say Persha Hodina. So Zaras Persha Hodina. Right now it's one PM or one AM, doesn't matter. Okay, so what can we see? So zaraz it means right now. And in English you say it is construction and as you know we don't use it in Ukrainian language. By the way, I uh, have recorded already the video lesson about the construction this is and it is. You can check it out. And as you can see when in English you need to use the construction it is to say the time, also you don't use it. So persha hodina. So you can see, Ina, this is the number one, Odin. Why do we write Persha? Persha, this is the ordinal uh, numeral or ordinal number. Let me write here below. So this is um, ordinal, ordinal um, numeral, ordinal numeral. Zaras Persha Hodina. As you remember at the beginning, I told you that the word Hodina means hour. And Hodina, this is a feminine gender word, you can see. And then you use the ordinal numeral uh, in the feminine form because we make the agreement. Hodina is a noun, feminine gender noun. So we use together with it what ordinal numeral in the feminine form. Then we have an agreement. Zaras persha hodina. Then let's continue. How to say it's 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. Druga hodina. Tretja hodina. Četverta hodina. Pjata hodina. Šosta hodina. Sjoma hodina. Vosma hodina. Devjata hodina. Desjata hodina. Odinacita hodina. Dvanacita hodina. So, you use all the time in this construction 
ordinal numeral in the nominative case in its basic form, singular form, yes, and with the agreement in gender with the word HODINA. Okay, is it clear, guys? If no, please write your questions below. What if I want to say the minutes? What about that? Okay, let me write you an example. Zaras, Zaras, tak, druha, druha, godina, and you want to say uh, twenty minutes, dvacet, uh, wait a minute, dvacet. Uh, Хвилин. Right now it's 2 p.m. or I am 2.20. 2 година. Hour literally meaning 20 minutes. Okay. What can we see here? Very important. Let's analyze. Let me pick it up. So Again, as I said, druha, this is ordinal, uh, ordinal, numeral, ordinal, numeral, nominative case, and singular. Okay, in agreement with the word hodena. What about dvacet hvalin? Dvacet is cardinal, numeral. Pay attention. Cardinal numeral. Dvacet chvilin. Cardinal numeral. But what about the word chvilin? Okay, it's very interesting. So, hodina, it's nominative case. Uh, nominative case. Uh, singular. Singular. And chvilin, it's Genitive case, uh, plural. Genitive case, plural. Okay, let's analyze this construction. If you need to say the time, and you say it's 2.20. So you can see zaras, right now, then we don't say it is. Druha hodina, the same as in the first example, you use the ordinal numeral, nominative case singular form. Hodina, nominative case singular, this is feminine gender noun, it's clear. And dvacet hvalin, dvacet twenty, this is cardinal numeral. And hvalin, we use genitive case plural. So guys, please take your notebooks and write down this construction if you need to say the time in Ukrainian language. It is very important. Okay, if you want to practice modest topic, you can become my patron on patreon.com and there I will publish more uh, exercises for you. Also, you will have an opportunity to get a feedback from me. But if you want to learn Ukrainian language uh, with a teacher on one-on-one -on -one private lesson, then welcome to my online school Speak Ukrainian, speakia.com. In this website, you will find also other Ukrainian language learning materials, textbooks and flashcards, and also courses, guys. That. And if you want to get more and more video lessons from me, please subscribe to my Instagram account, Speak Ukrainian Language. That's it. Your teacher Ina, Vasha, Chetelka. Ina, Pobacha Moskoro, see you soon and Papa. Bye bye.